it's the end of the year for maple sap collecting for, to make uh, maple syrup. I just thought I'd show you the little setup I have going here. I found two trees close together here. Uh, and I had spiles here for the buckets, as you can see there. And these little smaller tap ones, and they're really great. You don't need a big uh, of a drill into the bucket. So I did three tra taps on this tree here. And uh, now this one up here, I did four. It was a very good producing tree. I got a lot of sap out of that tree. Again, there's two spigots or spiles and uh, two smaller ones to help out on the top there. And uh, maybe a bit much, a lot of people say that's maybe too much for the trees, but I'm probably the first person to ever tap these trees, period. That's how the buckets work, just lids flip up like that. And uh, I find uh, sometimes I bend the uh, lids down here to shorten the gap at the side here. You can just get less bugs at the end of the season. And sometimes I put duct tape to uh, cover the hole by the spigot. Uh, just lessens down what goes in and out. And that's how they work. So there we go.